Brianna, I can see from your smile that this is the day that you've been waiting for a long time. How do you feel at the moment? I feel really eager and just really excited to get back on the court after six yes. months at least. Yeah. <laughs> what was the last match that you played? Um, I played in December at um, a tournament in the States for my college. And so that was in the Sweet 16. Yeah, we will go back for your college times. But yeah. before that, small Brie, how did you choose volleyball or did volleyball choose you? Um, I would say a little mixture of both. I played softball, flag football and basketball and um, I was always just playing a whole bunch of different sports and then um, I decided to play volleyball one day and as the years went by I just had to choose between all of those sports and volleyball was the one that really had my heart so I just stuck with volleyball. I heard from somewhere that your idols has been like my idol also, Misty May, Trianna and yeah. Kerry Walsh, and then <laughs> yes. Peyton Manning, but we don't go to Peyton Manning, but yes, still, yes, yes. volleyball, you're not so short, uh, I, you're not so tall, I, I mean. You yes. are a little bit sad about that still, or you found your place already in volleyball? I think that um, I may be short, but I feel like on the court, my uh, like pride for the game yeah. and whatnot kind of gives me an advantage. Um, but... I'm still, of course, I want to be a hitter. Like every libero wants yeah. to be a hitter, but my height kind of limits that for me. So, yeah. <laughs> but we will, we will see on the warm up you're hitting also because like all the liberals this. I wish. I don't know. We have. I haven't been practicing hitting, so I don't know if they'll have me hit. But if so, I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you are really proud of your position, this libero position. Yes, I really love being a libero. I feel like it's a position on the court that doesn't get enough credit or attention because we're not scoring points but we're creating plays okay let's go back to your like childhood Muriet in California yes little town with 100 people 100,000 people about yeah Lindsay Davenport then was baseball star Bonds for example from there and now we will add your name one day to this <laughs> yes. list of superstars <laughs> yes actually we played at for the same high school yeah so um, it's pretty cool being one of two players probably that come out of my city playing volleyball overseas. So yeah, that's that's really cool to think about. But then you traveled a long way to Utah to play in college with the youths. Yes, I you did. You don't know what when you were born, Finnish people know this, your university really well because our biggest bas basketball star has been playing for the youths, Hanno Möttola, many years there. Yes. Before the NBA career. Uh-huh. Well, I, I remember as soon as I signed, they mentioned her and I started like looking her up, but that's so cool. Yeah, that's really cool. And it's him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we know the Utah youth from that. Oh, you have degree in health, society and policy. Talk us a little bit through yes. what this means and uh, you will be working with those things. Uh, so, yeah, so my major kind of focuses on like health administration, whether it's in like the hospital or any other health sector. Um, and after volleyball, I plan on uh, focusing more on nutrition, sports nutrition in the health sector. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. What about your years in college? There must be times to remember for the rest of the life. Uh, yeah, oh my God, college was amazing. I really am happy I went to college and got to have all the experiences that I had. They, a lot of life lessons were uh, learned throughout college, so that was really cool. Then a little bit more about family. You come from the military family. Your father is a U.S. Marine. So you are a strict girl also because <laughs> this or how? I feel like, yes, I can have a little bit of both. Um, being My father being in the military, we moved around a lot. So I think that's what's helped me adapt to um, Finland as a whole. So, yeah, really cool. That's from somewhere that you have been in nine different schools, for example. Yes, I have nine different schools and I've moved 14 different times. Yeah. So moving to Hamelin is not so big thing for you? It, I think the only thing was the culture difference, yeah. but other than that, it was kind of a smooth transition. Now let's go to this a little bit later for this time. You arrived to Hamelina, but you have also uh, one brother and two sisters? Yes, yes I do. My brother is the oldest, his name's Ryan, and then I have a big sister named Nikki and a little sister named Dana. When you came here, the first impression, what you got from Finland and from Hamelina? I think that Finland is absolutely beautiful. I remember landing 
and all I saw was like green, so many trees, and in the States, we have more buildings than we do trees, so it was really breathtaking to see that in Finland, and the people in Finland and Hamilina are so kind, they're so, so nice. There has been a big surprises so far? Um, not many big surprises, I think. Uh, me and my roommate Erica, we got to explore Finland a little bit and we walked through Helsinki and it was just really cool experiencing a new culture, trying new dishes, it was really cool. How much that has been helping you that Erika has also been in the university or in college mm -hmm. in USA, so you talk the same language, you talk the English but also the little bit same this US language. Yes, it's actually funny because she said since she spent four years in America, she feels like she's American. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Italian-American. Yes. Yeah, and sp uh, speaks for sure better English than your coach. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they both speak English pretty well, actually. No, <laughs> oh, this is the one thing that helps your yes. living for sure. For sure, yes. I'm yeah. very thankful that they both, everybody on the team really speaks great English. Yeah. So what do you think about your career as a volleyball player? We talked that you have already like uh, education mm -hmm. there on your background, but what about volleyball? What do you want for volleyball? For volleyball, I just want to keep playing the game I love for as long as possible. Um, hopefully staying healthy throughout the duration of my journey and just seeing where it takes me day by day. You strength in volleyball? Ranked? Strengths, yes, as a oh, volleyball strengths? player. yeah. I would say uh, my strengths in volleyball would have to be vocally on the court, very vocal on the court, and um, as a libero, I would say defense is one of my strengths as well. What about the differences? You now practice here for a couple of weeks yeah. and the volleyball is a little bit different in college than in European, yes. in Europe. So what's the biggest difference? I think um, the the ball is probably the biggest yeah. difference. It the ball floats a lot more, so it's a little um, different to get used to in terms of serve receive and how it is in defense. Um, I think that's been the biggest shock volleyball wise. Yeah. So there is no love yet between you and Mikasa, or you're getting up? I know. Me and Mikasa, our love is, uh, it'll get there. <laughs> We're so in the beginning steps of our love. <laughs> you know that you can take her or him with you to the bed at night? Yes. And sleep with him? <laughs> yeah, maybe with, that'll help our relationship. That, that will help your relationship <laughs> for sure. Oh, about Hamelina City, you just said that not so big city, but what do you say about Hamelina so far? Like, uh, as a city? As a city? I just think, I mean, like, just looking around right now, there's so many trees. It's so, so beautiful. And um, I think the lake, I don't know what the lake is called, but um, that's kind of been my, like, safe haven. I, like, go walk there every day. Just, like, the nature in Hamilina in general is very refreshing, and I really love that about the city. The girls have been talking to you for sure about the winter in Finland. Yes. So far, this is... I know, I'm loving the weather so far, but yeah, anxious about the winter. Do you wait snow or don't wait snow? I I like snow. Yeah. I like, yeah, I like snow. I mean, in Utah it snowed a lot too, so yeah. I'm ready for the snow, but the darkness, we'll have to see. <laughs> so what do you wait from the season overall? Like, by yourself and, like, with your team? What are we waiting for? Yeah. Um, I think we're really excited to see what we're capable of. Um, these past couple of weeks, we've really grown a lot. So growing within two weeks, it makes me really excited to see how we'll be at the end of eight months. And two new girls came to your club, one today, that yes. you haven't even met, I yeah. think, so far. Yes. <laughs> so these are also like interesting moments every day, something new happening. Yes, for real. Um, uh, Elena, she came a couple days ago and she was cleared to start practicing yesterday so it was really cool to see what she was capable of and uh, what she can add to our team and I'm really excited to meet Yulia and see how she is on the court. Um, I love seeing that our team is growing because you can't really play six on six in practice with 11 people. <laughs> of course we can't do an interview without talking about Corona so yeah. how you think about things at the moment, how it affects your life. Um, I personally just want the virus to be gone. <laughs> yeah. I really want life to go back to normal, but I know in the moment um, that's not quite possible. But I feel like, um, honestly, I feel like Finland as a country is handling the situation very, very well. So moving out here, me and my family felt really comfortable with how everything was going. And I had a quarantine for uh, two weeks, but... I know that safety measures are necessary, so 
I felt comfortable in that situation, but I really just want it all to be over. <laughs> and all good with your family also, I hope? At yes, US. thank goodness. Thank you. Good. Like, thank you, God. Yes, everything's good back home. Good and hope that everything will be good for you also during the season. Thank you, Bree, so much for yes, the interview. Yes, of course. Thank and you. have a really good season here and, and enjoy your time in Finland. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>